Hey you, it's Jess here and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm planning my December monthly and I have all the sticky notes out. It's a surprisingly busy month. <laughs> um, but I have this old Scribble Prints Code kit um, from last year before the Aura Estelle inserts came out. Um, and these are the Caress Press ones, so they still fit the old standard size. Um, so that's what I'm using for to decorate this, but obviously next year I will be purely or still inserts. So, but yeah, this is an old monthly kit. I don't think you can get these anymore, so I apologize. This is last year's art, um, but it's Darcy art, which I love. But yeah, so here we go. We got the main page. It's super light and pastel-y. Um, it's actually a, like a Christmas birthday set <laughs> and then you have the normal sidebar so we're gonna get straight into putting the base down and I'm just going to fast forward this Okay, that is the main um, base down. <laughs> it went down super duper quick. That's the upside of um, monthlies. So I'm going to quickly do uh, my bills. Let's get a pen. I'm going to fast forward through that as well. So I apologize. The music will continue. Alright, so I have more bills than this, but I need to look up when they actually are. <laughs> um, yeah, obviously they're all on automatic, so I don't know when things go out. I'll have to double check soon because I have a bit more bills coming up. Um, now that I have insurance to pay for and whatnot, so let's just put these in the... I think I have this down here. An epidemic. All right. So those are the bills put in. So now we're going to go through each and every one of these. I don't think I'm going to fill this out this time. Um, but I like to have sort of functional sidebar when I'm properly using a monthly, which I will next year. So if you're interested in a monthly plan with me, just let me know down below. Um, otherwise, I might just do them by myself. I don't know. 
So first of all, we have um, Jingle Jam starts on this day. So I want to put that in a special box. If you don't know, um, I just want to cover the one. Let's trim this down actually. Can't see most of the design anyway. Um, Jingle Jam is like a. Um, oh, this looks gross now. I'm just gonna use one. Um, it's one. It's a streaming um, event from the Yogs Cast. They're like a gaming network. Anyway, they do a big um, yearly thing called Jingle Jam where they stream every day and they raise money for charity. So I want to mark that in. Maybe with one of these. Jingle Jam. They usually go for the entirety of December, but this year it's just two weeks. Obviously, probably because of COVID, and last year they all got really, really sick, which is hilarious when you think about the COVID thing. Wrong pen. So let's mark in the start of that. And then I have three new releases this um, month. So I think I can use these last big boxes for them without their washi. Um, yep, I'm gonna put this one here. This one here. So these are my two art sets and a fashion pack going up this month. So I don't want to use too much them. Here's just use some deco for that. Oh wait, that's the the first art release is a birthday set, so I should Put the birthday cake on there, right? That works so well. And the second set, I don't think anything much goes with it, so put this little thing here. And then I'll, we well, used to Happy New Year on actually New Year. Let's put the fashion pack, these booties, because you know, fashion. Okay, that is in now. So the other thing on the first week of December is it's Independence Day on the 6th. So, yeah. Finland is all independent and that's something to celebrate. So let's use these little clinking glasses. You can always go and read up on that on um, a wiki, but they... Over the history, they've been owned by like Sweden and Russia, and then when the Russian Revolution happened and Lenin came into power, they said, "Oh, do you want to be independent to Finland?" And they eventually decided yes. So they use the sixth of December to mark Independence Day. It's not like the actual literal day, but yeah, that's interesting history there. Um, so next we have a Kirsten's birthday, Kirsten of SPC, so you know I gotta put that in. Should I put it with the happy birthday box? Well, so this set makes sense now because it's for Kirsten's birthday. <laughs> um, let's use this skinny label and cover the dew. Um, Girls celebration stickers out. Uh, I guess I have new purples. They're not quite the same. You know how it is with purples. But I have two lots of these. Oh, I have two lots of them. Okay, I'm just gonna use it. Boop -de boo. I mean, this is like not my proper planner, but at the same time, I am going to put it into my 2020 binder, so ring binder, so it's all. Still there to memory keep. So it's not like this is getting thrown out. Oh, I read a name wrong. Kirsten. 
it fit. My writing's wibbly wobbly anyway. So then here on the 11th, it'll actually be two years since I've moved to Finland. Which is nuts, so <laughs> I'm going to put that in here. Um, and what do I want to do to mark it? Maybe something wintry. Because it was all nice and snowy when I moved. I have a celebrationary vanilla from Paper Shire. In theory, I should now, on this date, be able to get a phone contract rather than a prepaid SIM, but I'm happy with my prepaid. <laughs> Um, okay, so then on the 13th, a plan list begins, which you're already watching, so congrats. <laughs> um, I think this is the 14th today, if you're watching it, the day goes up, that I decided to do it. Because I can't remember. His character organization, 13th. This is the 15th, okay. Oh yeah, because that's my usual plan with me. Yes. So, what should we do to mark a plan this beginning? Maybe another Christmassy sticker. Um, how about one of these ugly sweaters? Maybe this purple one. I was thinking the gray, but then the gray can go with so many things. One second. And that is finishing on Christmas Day, so it's probably more than 12 days, but I don't really care. It's planless. <laughs> so a thing I would like to do on the 14th is request my U.S. address book so I can get all my mail in for the Christmas Day um, haul to film. So this is one of the last days when I should request it. Here we go. So I had to like. I still am not used to my new organization. Then the new release, and then nothing on that week. So now we have proper Christmas day. So the Christmas Eve, it's both Christmas Eve, but also in, um, in Animal Crossing, it is Toy Day. So it's the special Animal Crossing um, event. So I'm going to find something I can use to mark Toy Day. <laughs> Maybe I use one of these because you're giving out presents to your villagers. Obviously, Christmas Eve is a bigger deal here in Europe. <laughs> um, but, you know, I don't celebrate it like Europeans do. It's just Christmas Eve. In Australia, Christmas Day is where it's at. But let's put in Christmas Eve. Let's put this cute um, lot of candles. Let's put them on this side. I have scripts, but I kind of want to save them for both my in person, my actual weekly spreads, and my monthlies for next year. <laughs> um, so then we have Christmas Day. Do I want to use? Do I want to use one of these? Yes, because it's Christmas Day. Let's just use the box in here, and what can we use to mark that? It's good actually like, well I have um, a bucket list that I very rarely use in here. Here we go. Well, I have two of these so I might as well use one. Merry Christmas! And it goes with the spread. Yay! Merry Christmas! And then the 26th is Boxing Day. Although I think I've read somewhere that it's also called St. Stephen's Day here. But um, I grew up with it as a Boxing Day. 
And because Boxing Day is on Saturday, probably the 28th will be a holiday in lieu of. Um, and then we have obviously New Year's Eve. So I want to just, I want to spread these out. So I'm just going to put in New Year's Eve, and we're going to use the Happy New Year headband for that. I have no plans. I never do. I just we just chill out. <laughs> Um, so I think that's it. I might put in some more of this deco and these full boxes. I think it's looking pretty cute. I actually got like plans in here. So we got the disco ball and we have the candles, which we should keep the candles away from Christmas Eve. So put the disco ball in here, maybe in the fourth, because it's looking a bit empty there. I like these to fill in empty spots and maybe the candles on the 22nd. Oh yes, and then the rest we can put in some darker, just put these all around, super pretty. I always love December, even more now that it is actually winter and not disgustingly hot summer. <laughs> all right. So, that is quite a lot of the kit used up, because it's the upside of the monthly kits. And that is the finish spread. I'm sorry it's not more complete. Next year, December monthly, we'll have scripts and I things on the top and everything. But um, this is sort of just like on the seat of my pants. Um, because I just haven't been doing monthlies this year, but I'm really excited to do promo monthlies next year in my aura still. But if you liked it, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to watch all the rest of Plan Miss. You still have 10 more days of it, so enjoy. But otherwise, I hope you have a wonderful week and a wonderful holiday season, and I'll see you next time. Bye!